Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive. When Jonas steered the man on the stage, I really am the man. Up. I'm sticking. Man. Yeah, man dude. Man 21. Yeah, man 21. That's what we're playing. Mm. Yeah. Dude. It was me. It was me having a joygasm over. Oh, yeah. About what? Madden. How good Madden is? Yeah, dude. It's a good game. <clears throat> Game so good make you smack your mama. Game so good make you want to play it like you did last year because it's the same game. <laughs> make you want to play it again. Yeah, make you want to just put in Madden 20 because it might as well be the same. Play it again, Sam. Um, Makes I, you want to wear a nightgown. I did see some rumblings about a, another football game coming out. Oh, dude, is it like all fake? Uh, It is not like... Um, no, it's more of a simulation type, but I did hear rumblings of it. Nothing for sure, but obviously they can't use like names. Right. See, dude, here's what I would say. If they, if EA or not EA, um, NBA 2K, mm -hmm. that comes, uh, 2K Sports, mm -hmm. were to put out a football game that was just like kind of like similar but like they went for pure simulation football even though it wasn't real teams mm -hmm. but they allowed you to do custom rosters the fan base would do it themselves yes. the fan base would do it and you could download and that's, it that's, yeah, and that's kind of what they, they were getting at too right like, it's like day one somebody's going to be like well i'm just going to go through it right exactly <laughs> you, could, you could use the exact same cities just a yeah. different logo you can use the copyrighted logos and you could just basically make it like the cleveland oranges yes. Assen you know essentially it'd be like a first week patch that everybody would download right. and it yeah, wouldn't dude, be the like Cincinnati DLC. Tigers like you know like the Minnesota Nordics it would be very similar to the NFL names mm. but it would be and then they would just keep somebody would do custom rosters and boom it would yeah but there there are some rumblings I mean honestly I hope so dude I want simulation football man it's it's like the it's like the best time in the market to do it when one company has a monopoly and they're dropping the ball Oh, absolutely. Well, that's what happens, dude. When you have a, a monopoly, monopoly for how many effing years they've had this, like 10 years? You're dude? not incentivized. It's been the same game for eight. Yeah, you're not incentivized to do well when you have a monopoly. These are, this is exactly why monopolies are outlawed and why they're considered bad. Right, absolutely. I mean, the same, dude, even the same thing happened with, like, wrestling. Once once WWF bought WCW and ECW, it kind of they, they have it. literally been trashed for years because yeah. they have no one to compete against them. Yo, it's not like they didn't do their thing, man. Attitude Era was amazing. Oh, right, and, <laughs> and at the end of that is when they bought those, and then yep. since then they've just been like, eh, whatever. Yep. Well, now they finally have another league, so they have some sort of competition. But, but it's not on the still, level of yeah, that. Too Maybe big, in five to ten years it will be. Too big to fail. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. The in people fact, will watch them. Oh, no matter how trash the product is. And the and the uh, the same thing kind of goes with Madden. People will play a football game. Period. Like people want football, dude. They want an NFL game. Just like people want NBA. If the NBA game was trash, people would still play it too. At least there's two of those. Yeah. In fact. I can't. I was looking for the number, um, but it looks like this year's Madden actually outsold last year's Madden. Oh my God! Look, dude, he's doing a handstand. Oh, that's, that, <laughs> that was, was new. That Put was new. <laughs> and they did a little bit of work, dude. Yeah, here they did a little bit of work actually. Um, but this year, this year's Madden actually outsold last year's Madden. Everyone thought this was the year. They're going to update it this year, guys. Promise. Pinky swear, bro. We're going to do something. <laughs> and then they... I do notice that people have, have basically went on and made this the worst uh, scoring Madden ever. As far as like Metacritic and IGN. Yes. It has like a two or something. Like, yes. It people was went a, out and just bombed the ratings. Last I checked, it was at a, a 0 0.4. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was still like record record breaking sales. Yeah, and you know what? That's EA. The EA EA's laughing all the way to the bank. They're like, I don't give enough. If you give it a negative two, we made more money than we've ever made on this game. You can <laughs> suck it. You still bought it. And that's the only way it's gonna happen. And people aren't gonna do it. Like if everyone like was like, listen, don't buy Madden 22, and everyone really stuck to it, and they sold like. 4,000 copies of the game, mm -hmm. they would be like, oh, we need to fix this game. But that ain't going to happen because people like football, dude. 
then, uh, and that's what sucks. I mean, it, mm, I get it. Yeah, I, I really do. Because I, I don't, I guess I un- underestimate the popularity of football. And I know it's like a multi billion dollar oh, yeah, industry. Dude. Absolutely. Well, I mean, it's the same thing about like cosmetic clothes for your avatar. If no one bought them, they would just give them away for free. But since people buy them, they're going to charge money. I mean, that's true. You know, if like if that's they didn't true. sell at all, they'd be like either they were going to stop making it or they'd be like, okay, you can just have them. So it says a uh, hundred million copies. Oh my god! At sixty a pop. So, <laughs> so six hundred million dollars <laughs> just off the game purchases. Not to mention the microtransactions from Ultimate Team. They're gonna make a billion dollars off this game. A billion with a B. Hey, why change, dude? Let's I mean, keep keep make... giving them the same cold hamburger. Yeah, it probably <laughs> cost them twelve bucks to make this game. Just toss that ish in the microwave. <laughs> Dude, seriously, dude, I swear to God, we need to come up with like an Android game that's very like simple and fun, and like, but yet you have microtransactions and you charge like a dollar for it, or and then you got a million people buy it, you make a million dollars. All right, do it. Yeah, dude. Mobile gaming's huge right now. Yeah, dude. You got to make it good though. Make it, no, you just got to make it fun and addicting. It doesn't have to be. Oh fun. yeah. There's a lot of good, good. There's there's games out there that have millions of downloads that are trash just because they're entertaining to play. They have tons of ads. There's pop ups. There's they're pay to win. The people play them because they're like entertaining. That doesn't mean they're good. Honestly, if you think of the person who, <clears throat> or the the team of people, I'm not sure how many people it was that invented Candy Crush. They're probably sitting back just like oh dude they oh god who knows smoking <laughs> a cigar a, with their feet you up can pay to win on that game oh nice I'm glad that it I'm glad that, that happened um, you can pay to win on that game too to a certain extent yeah but I mean I don't know if they get paid just like off of downloads like a like a music stream or anything but yeah well if they like co- Candy they, Crush they probably don't make anything off the game but they make everything off microtransactions and ads yeah and they have okay. such a huge player base that they're making tons of money yeah. But, you know, like a game like Candy Crush or like any of those runner games like a Temple Run or any of the right, newer runners. It, Angry Birds, all that all that stuff. All of that stuff is pretty simple to make. Yeah, as long, I mean, it's like if you took the time to learn how to like code a basic Android game. Yeah. You know, it's like it's just a matter of it catching on. And honestly, I don't think it's even like about the quality of the game. It's not at all. It's about can you go viral with it. Right, it has to have some sort of thing that's either super catchy or super addicting or... I mean, that's similar to our YouTube channel. Can we go viral, Jonas? We gotta go viral. You need to go viral. <laughs> you're the, you're the, you need to go the viral. One why, the, why the accelerated clock is going under two minutes, I don't know. It's never happened before, but... Um, yeah, dude, so you're the one with the stream, bro. You need to get on there and whip your thing out or something. Dude, isn't there like a stream no, fail thing that against... people like, get you famous if you fail on stream? There is live stream fails, but no, I'm not gonna whip my thing out. If that's what you're insinuating, I should do on stream. I mean, whatever, whatever gets us famous, dude. I mean, like, take one for the team. You might get. I'm not famous. gonna take one for the team. I don't know what you're insinuating. <laughs> Are you insinuating that I f- that I have sex with Jeff Bezos? Because I mean, I'm not going to if you do, that. do that. I would support you. I mean, not that I wouldn't have sex with Jeff Bezos. I mean, look at his bank account. Listen, okay. If if you having sex with Bezos made us get famous, I would let it, you split it 60-40 because you took one for the team. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> if I'm taking anything, if, especially if I'm taking it for the team, if I'm giving it out for the team, that's different. <laughs> All right, Bezos let you put him in a dress, and you just have to like hang out with him for a while. No. Like, you don't have to like. You don't have to like take it. Dude. I do you that said, for free, man. You got to give it to Bezos for free. All right, no. If I just hang out with it, with him in a dress, if no, I'm just no, 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 hanging... he's in a dress, but you got to give it to him. Like, so you get an extra. You get I got to give what to him? <laughs> a compliment. It. You got to give it to him. A compliment. Okay, I would compliment Bezos in a dress. Yeah, exactly. If that's you what gotta, it took. You got to give it to him. <laughs> What you talking about? Just give it up. This dude. is a family friendly video, so I'm going to just play, You're gonna give play him some, dumb. some homemade chili, dude. Just give him some chili. He's, I'd cook for me so for- He's going to give you his cake. He's going to be like, listen, TNT, oh. here are my cakes for you. What I'm going to give them to you. He looks like a carrot guy when I look at him. He wants 
carrots in his cake. <laughs> he wants carrot cake, dude. He, just, he really wants carrot cake, dude. Oh. He's a carrot cake boy, you know what I mean? I don't understand what you mean. I, I don't either. This is not in your nose. This is straight food talk. <laughs> what if he likes pineapple upside down? Mm, I don't know, dude. I think he wants <laughs> carrots in his cake, if you or know is, what I mean. Or is he looking for some of this German chocolate? He wants zucchini in his bread, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> He wants bananas in his bread. You know what I mean? He wants banana nut bread? He wants banana nut in his bread. <laughs> if you know, what you know what I'm suck? saying? He wants, he wants you to french fry his potato. You know what I'm saying? Why are you saying such things about Mr. Misos? He, he's, he's a, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he wants you to you ring know. his onion. Do you know his? Do you know what he? Do you know anything about this man? No, dude, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Probably, dude. Watch, Bezos is listening to this right now. He's like, you know what? He he's just, like, I do want some banana nut in my bread. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Seems like the kind of guy who just wouldn't get it. He, he just like, sends, yeah, I like banana nut bread. He sends a text to like his friend. Hey, ruin these guys. <laughs> <laughs> All he has to do is nothing. <laughs> there you go. We're ruined. All he has to do is send the text. He's like, all right. They're ruined. They're going to take so much away from us. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I wonder the degree of petty with power, like how, how you could, uh, how you could really affect somebody. Oh, you could, people can destroy lives, dude. Cause I like think about it. Like if, if I wanted, I don't, I'm not advocating this activity, but if I wanted to destroy somebody's life. Like, what steps would you take? You're not, you're not powerful enough to do that. I, no, no, there's some things you could do to destroy somebody's life with no free of charge. Oh, I mean, you could put a bunch of drugs in their house and call the cops. One. Thank you. Okay. I mean, that's definitely something you could do. Okay. Uh, you could go to their job and you could act like you know them and then make a scene. Yeah, but that doesn't I mean once they speak to them, they'll be all, I mean, they're like, they'll be like, I don't know that guy. And they'll be like, Look, if somebody shows up to your job looking for you and they're acting nuts. It don't matter if you are like, hey, look, I don't even know this guy or yeah, I know that guy. He doesn't like me because it still looks still bad. Look bad. Yeah. Yeah. And if you do it enough times. They're like, listen, you got to tell Crazy Pants to stop coming to, to work. You oh, know, so he just we, wants your banana nut and his bread, dude. But yeah, you so, don't, you so know. We got to call the cops every every week because of you, Carol. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, I used to be the manager of a blockbuster video back in the day, I had an employee that, like, she wasn't the, the smartest girl lady i guess she would be um and she gave out her um her, her work phone number to the walmart credit card debtor people <laughs> and they used to call this blockbuster all the time for her and i finally got on the phone and like i didn't mean it but i told them if they called one more time i was gonna fire them how the hell was she supposed to pay her off and bill then and they never called back so i was like i did you a solid and she was like thank you so much it's so stressful to be at work and get calls from walmart's credit and I'm like, why did you give them your number i don't know dude and see that's the thing like you could just like get somebody's phone number see i feel like i'm giving people ideas on how to ruin somebody's yeah, life but if that. you just got this is a family friendly video we're just talking about carrots and cakes and stuff. but if i just got somebody's phone number and started calling up there can i speak to the manager and just started talking to the manager. I had a really bad experience with this person. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Called her wife, pretend you're her boyfriend. Ooh. Hey, look, I'm tired of you talking to my girl. Yeah, I know her, Carolyn. Yeah. Listen, you're married to my boyfriend. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what it looked like. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah. If you're gonna make those kind of statements, make sure you do know do know what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, That's, you gotta, I know where that spot is, Carol. Yeah, you gotta get a good good look at the old before you uh. Yeah, make you gotta any... follow him in the bathroom and watch. Whoa, him like that's <laughs> that's sexual assault. No, dude, you're just looking at his zipper line. You're making sure that there's good stitching in the zipper. Line. Don't look at your zip line. Nope, I don't even have a zipper. I have a gym short. Dude, I need a shower. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is your train of thought go there? Cause I forgot, <laughs> dude. Forgot shower. I don't know. Three, four, eight days now. <laughs> been about six, eight months since I showered. Sorry, it's not like you going. I hear there. if you shower, that's how you get the con the conid. 
The Conan? The Conan, dude. You get Conan O'Brien if you shower? Conan O'Brien if you shower, dude. Man, you don't want that. I don't want the Conan. You get him doing, like, the little string dance in your armpits. Yeah, dude. Nope. Did you ever watch Conan? I loved Conan. I was like, one of freaking figures, dude. I liked it oh, when it first came out when he had Andy on before Andy left, and then yeah. like when Andy left, it kind of killed the show, man. A little bit because they were they were a good they were a good team, even though Andy was just like supplementary yeah. to yeah, him. Yeah, that'd be like if you left the podcast and I was trying to do it on my own, it would just flounder because what, what are you, you're just are as you important as I am. Me, you calling me Andy? Right no, now? not at all. <laughs> Andy, co-host. He was his co-host, dude. <laughs> Andy was not the no, dude. I, don't, right, then I won't make that comparison. I'm not, I'm not Robin. Robin. <laughs> I'm dude. not Robin either. You're bat. You're co-Batman, dude. I'm not. <laughs> we both can't be Batman. You're, you're co-Batman. No, Batman. we Batman. we are like we're like the teenage mutant turtles. Uh, you're Donatello, and I'm I'm Michelangelo. I think I'm more Michelangelo than you. You think you're more Michelangelo? He's like the party dude, man. He's like, I'm Cowbunga Bros. That's more me. I dude. meant, I meant more, I meant more Donatello, as in you are the the mind behind. The, oh, because okay. he's the he's the smart. It was it was it was kind of like a, a, a somewhat of a compliment, What's but that? not really. And I'm I'm I feel like when we're recording, you're more Michelangelo, and I'm probably more Donatello. Right. But when it comes to the actual entity of the planning and development, yeah, you're more Donatello, and I'm more Michelangelo. Right, I, can, I can dig that. So that way we're each Donatello and we're each Michelangelo in our own way. So neither one is more important than the other because you're the, the zing to my zang. My ying to my yang is what I meant. You Zip know, to my zap to my zop, dude. I don't know what that means, but yeah, I actually do. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't I'm want not, anybody to I'm be not a, Robin. I'm not, I'm not Robin, dude. You're not going to catch me out here in some leotards or some gotta, unitards. Uh, like a black mask, just like... Hey guys, <laughs> Robin. Robin. <laughs> yeah, dude. It would. Yeah, Conan was. Why did you ask about Conan? Do you not like Conan? Uh, no. It kind of. This doesn't really surprise. Like I was. I'm not gonna lie. I was in my room. I was laughing the other day to myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> I. And they're like, ha ha! I'm funny. Because I laugh at my own jokes, and I oh, was I like, anyway. and I was like, Jonas is the type of guy. That would laugh at a H O O F, hoof, and then the the second word would be arted, hat. Who <laughs> <laughs> farted? Yeah. Yeah, dude, uh-huh. I like this. Uh-huh. Bend over and whatnot. Dude. I was like, Jonas is the type of guy to like that kind of stuff. I, w- I wouldn't wear one, but I would chuckle if somebody <laughs> had one. Okay, on. yeah. I would never buy one, <laughs> but. And it, I don't know. It just it just made me think, and I was thinking about Randy. What the devil? What <laughs> Randy? What the devil? Huh? And then that made me think of it's the chronic. What coast of Narnia? It's oh. the chronic. What coast of Narnia? Oddly enough, I didn't like those guys. You Lonely like, Island you is didn't not like my jam. Lonely Island? Nah, dude, not wow. my jam. And you know it makes sense because I loved them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I they, were, thought they were clever as hell. That's, that's the that's the realness of the world. At least we all can converge on some little exactly. dicky. Exactly. We so. all love little dicky. But uh, that is all the time. <laughs> little dicky. That is all time we have for Innuendo Sunday. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. This dude does Twitch stuff. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's at TNT D I N O M E G H T underscore Crazy Town and Twitch TV. Bezos called me. Yep. Uh, make him famous. Make him Twitch viral. For Jonas, Dude. we'll catch you on the next one. We are out there.